Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we're going to go over the bitmap pattern transparency in Corel Draw. This is a very powerful and interactive tool for adding texture effects and more to your graphic designs in Corel Draw. So you can take them out of the vector arena, just solid color, and add textures to them. And textures are very important in graphic design today, and we see them everywhere distress, grunge, metallic looks, all kinds of different looks that we see from textures in graphic design. In Corel Draw, we can do a lot of that with the bitmap pattern transparency. Here is the property bar for the bitmap pattern transparency, and we'll be covering some things in here. I'm going to zoom out, and then I'll zoom in, and we'll take a look at the fundamentals of this tool. And here we have a design that we've seen before. This is the Street Gear New York City design. And here we have the interactivity of the bitmap pattern tool. If I come over here and select what I have on top of here, which is really what I call an overlay with a transparency, and there's two of them there, I'll delete the first one. So we've got just the second one that's behind it. And that's on top of there. And we'll zoom in. I'll go to the transparency tool. And you can see this square. That is the bitmap that's creating the transparency and the cracked and grunge effect that you see in the overlay. Now these handles are the skew and stretch transparency pattern. We have the move and we have the scale and rotate. So I can go to move, left click, hold down just like the fountain fill and move the transparency. I can also scale and rotate the transparency effect. Very interactive powerful, transparent texture bitmap effects in Corel Draw. I can come here and skew that. So I can really dial these looks into whatever I'd like them to look like when I'm working with them. Now I'm going to go and remove that so you can see how the overlay is working. And the overlay is just a white vector object on top. And there's a tutorial for this design on the website, advancedtshirts.com. I'm going to bring up my fashion factory. I have a huge library of textures. You can find those on our website. I prefer them based over the library that's in Corel. And you can see that I've got 1,067 of them. And I can go through, and let's go to, let's say, I'll go to a different one. I'll go to cracks. And I can go through here and look for a texture based on all of the different categories that we have. Vintage, wood, sports, rubber, organic, metal, liquid, halftone, so forth. All for creating texture and transparency effects in Corel Draw. Now I'm going to go to the cracks again. Come back through here and let's see if there's something that I want to work with here. What's this one? Cracks 12. I'll go with this for right now and I'll just click apply texture as transparency. And the Fashion Factory will apply that. I'll minimize the Fashion Factory. And the Fashion Factory was really conceived out of creating the fashion looks with the texture effects. It's one of our plugins from the advanced tools. Now here we can see that this is a very large object because all of the texture images in the Fashion Factory are high resolution. So I'll left click here and scale this down and you can see the effect. And then I'll zoom in here and you can see how that's affecting the graphic. It's adding that cracked distress to the entire area of the overlay. 
Now I can skew that for a different look, and you can see that right there. Rotate it if I want to give it kind of like an angle. All of this left clicking here, and I could bring this in and make it more square. All of this interactivity for creating these texture effects in Corel Draw and adding this extra element to our designs, even though that is a vector object. So you could change the color, but right now it's white. What if I want it to be red? Go to the pick tool, click on the red. Now it's a red effect, black, a black effect. So you can see how you can create these really dynamic effects working with the bitmap pattern transparency tools in Corel Draw. Now I'll go here to the transparency tool and we'll see that we have a foreground transparency which can be adjusted and I'll show you how this works. I'll left click and pull back. Bring that down then hold down left and bring that back. You can see I'm, now I'm darkening it up. Now if I pull it all the way back be a solid black and if I pull this out now you can see the effect. Now that's not something you'd want. I'm just explaining about the background and foreground transparency adjustments with the bitmap pattern transparencies in Corel Draw. In Corel Draw, and I can go to my pick tool, change that back to a white, and you can see the effect. Now that's really faded out. Go back to the transparency, and I'll bring this back up to 100, and this. No, actually, I want to bring the, yeah, the um, background to 100 and then the foreground to zero. And we'll have our bitmap transparency effect applied back to our vector correctly. And we've got the same thing here. You can see the square there. All interactive and dynamic. If I want to give that some change to how that's being applied, I can do that. Same thing down here with the text. So the interactivity of working with the bitmap based on how it's inside of this square or rectangle now gives us the ability in Corel Draw to really dial in these texture effects very easily and very quickly. And working with my Fashion Factory, I have thousands of them at my fingertips. And I do prefer those over what's available through Corel and you can see their library here and there's really not that much there. So that's the bitmap transparencies and we'll look at some different effects here. And these are all vector texts and I'm just showing you some of the different things you can do with this because it's so powerful and dynamic. Here's a basketball texture, vintage ink, abstract, wood. I'll zoom out and zoom back in. We've got metal aged, cracked, half-toned, all of these different effects. Now these are applied to basic text elements, but you can imagine all the things that you can do with them, and they all have the interactivity that you can use to dial them in, change them, and make them look exactly like you want them to look based on the bitmap transparency tool in Corel Draw. Now, one thing that we do want to be aware of is that when we're setting these up is that we will want to go, if we're going to be resizing things from the vector, go to the Edit Transparency. We want to set this to Transform with Object. Very important. And here's why. If I go and scale this out, you see my dots got really small. In other words, the bitmap pattern transparency did not scale with the graphic, I'll hit Control Z. Then I'll go back to the transparency tool, come here and I'll change this to transform with object and you can play with these other features here. Select OK, go back to the pick tool, left click and enlarge that and you can see that now the transparency bitmap effect is enlarging or scaling with the size of the vector object. And you might be able to see these lines down here. That's just the bitmaps and things. It doesn't really exist in the design. It's just the way Corel renders things. But I'll hit Control Z to go back. So I think you can see the potential of working with the 
transparent bitmap patterns and the transparency tool and all the things you can do with it working in Corel Draw and then how it works and how easy it is to use but yet how easily you can really dial these effects in in Corel Draw to get some really great design looks very easily and quickly. One of my favorite tools in Corel for doing graphic design and creating effects for them. So we'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.